I'm going to have a 10 year plan and I'm going to develop these young kids from today to one day be this. And unfortunately, no one is patient in this game. No one. Everyone thinks about three points on Saturday, Sunday, and that's it. As a federation, we focus on the upcoming Asian Cup or the European competition, whatever. But there needs to be an in depth plan that says this is who we want to be this is how we're going to do it it's going to take time who guarantees wins all the time in football you can't guarantee that every week we will win for me it's developing the youngest players and having a long-term plan to one day that they're able to compete with the best in the world the game it's football it's about the ball so technically we have to be very good so how do we do that do you think not having an identity in indian football is also one of the reasons of our poor performance it takes time and it takes planning so if we want to have a certain identity and play a certain way, it's not going to happen overnight. But you need to have a plan. You need to say, okay, I'm going to have a 10-year plan and I'm going to develop these young kids from today to one day be this. So it starts from down below. And look, even with... I was I was in Australia. When I started coaching, that's when they implemented the new curriculum. I see the fruit that we're bearing now from that curriculum that came in place in 2010. And whether we like it or not, we decided that we were going to develop more technical players. Australians were very physical and Australians have got a great mentality. Like, let's run through the ball. The wall will do it, you know. But technically, we weren't quite up there. We were developing technical players accidentally. And it's maybe the ones that had it in their DNA already, you know. But now they put specific programs back in 2010. They said, that's the way we're going to work. So we can have this sort of player coming out that we can have an identity to play football and compete with the best teams in, in Europe and compete in the World Cup. What you're seeing now is, and I remember probably when I came to Holland in 2018, there were people complaining. About it. So eight years later, they were complaining. Yeah, we're developing these players that are trying to play football like this, like that, and it's not working. We're not achieving it at the highest level, even though in 2016, okay, with a, still with the last of the golden generation, we won the Asian Cup with Ange Postacoglu as coach. But... There was a lot of bickering about the Dutch guys that came and put in this curriculum. But you know now, because my son is 18 now and my son is uh, you know, part of the national team setup of Australia with the under-20s, I look at who's in that team and there's 16 players in European clubs. 16 in European professional academies. In big clubs. So what I'm saying is, where did these guys come from? These guys come from that period of growing up in that curriculum, of being able to now go into these big academies at a young age. And now working, you know, from 17, 16, 17 in these, in these academies now, now they're going to go, pop, pop, pop. I'm excited about that generation because I think maybe that could be our next golden generation that we missed, you know, the golden generation that did, really well in the 2006 World Cup, the golden generation that won the Asian. There's something, but it's come from planning. It's come from this plan that people were very critical. And unfortunately, you know, whether I'm at club football, I hear federation stuff, no one is patient in this game. No one. Everyone thinks about three points on Saturday, Sunday, and that's it. And really, as a federation, you need to have a long-term vision. You need to have a vision that says, that's what we want to look like. And the next 10 years, we're going to work to look like that. But what's very important and one thing that we bypassed and we're talking about developing those sorts of players and you said before, you know, Spain went through a moment where, you know, they had to find identity. Germany, you know, they went through a period and, and they became so strong from it. But what did they really work on? And that's one thing I think Australia did well as well when they brought in the curricula. And God bless the people that did that was put in really good coaching courses and start developing the coaches. Start developing the coaches that could administer and coach this curriculum and develop players uh, to play this sort of football and to develop players that are going to be able to compete technically with the best in the world. Well, at a World Cup or, uh, you know, in, in the Asian competition. So that's really important. So, you know, everyone always focuses on uh, their league and that their teams are winning and who's winning the championship. But as a, or as a federation, we focus on the upcoming Asian Cup or the European competition, whatever. But there needs to be an in-depth plan that says, this is who we want to be. This is how we're going to do it. This is when we're going to get there. And it's going to take time. And they need to stick to it, even when they go through 
the shit moments if I can swear like that because you're going to go, who guarantees wins all the time in football? You can't guarantee that every week I'm going to win. Football, you know, and football is one of the only sports in the world where we play and we can be the best on the day and we still lose. That's what makes it beautiful. That, that's what makes it great. I don't know, as, as a coach, maybe not so much, especially when you're the team that's always dominating, creating chances and you end up losing. But that's that's football. That's why we love it. So I, I think you're you're right in sticking by a plan and a long-term plan and you keep working at it. But for me, it's developing coaches, developing the youngest players, and having a long-term plan to one day have them that they're able to compete with the best in the world. Because at the end of the day, and that's a little bit my philosophy as well, the game, it's football. It's about the ball. So technically, we have to be very good. So how do we do that? Uh, you see that some people are still, you know, working football in isolation, and that, it's got to be within football. You need to develop the technical skills within playing football, within developing the the technical, tactical, mental and physical all together, you know what I mean, from a certain age. So there's so much things we can talk about and we can go on different parts, but yeah, I'm very, you can see I'm very clear in that you need to have an idea. This is my football idea. These are my values that are going to guide it and that's the way I'm going to do it. And I'm very clear with that. I'm not going to change. And whether you're a federation, a club or a coach, you should have that sort of idea.